Hello Vinyl community, next day, next video. Uh, I didn't lose any time and uh, so let's have a look at that. So um, what did I do? Um, I have listened to this, Lord of the Rings by Bo Hanson. Um, yeah, it's a nice album, it's, it's, uh, it's a sort of a progressive rock album yet uh, it is uh, rather calm. Uh, very uh, sort of mellow. So this is a nice listen uh, if you, if you're for example working, uh, you can give this a really nice. Uh, here the famous Charisma label, and um, yeah, it's a good record. Uh, of course. Uh, as the title suggests, uh, it is a concept album surrounding Tolkien's uh, book trilogy, which is probably the part about it that I pay the least attention to. Um, I probably lack uh, the the attention span to follow it all through when bands make uh, these sort of uh, thematic uh, concept albums. I don't mind concept albums, I'm not critical about the idea of a concept album. Um, it's just, um, I usually just listen to the music and uh, kind of listen to it completely out of context. So, uh, um, but that's also a good thing, I guess, because I'm not very judgmental in terms of uh, how well does this music kind of fit the ideas of Tolkien. So um, this is basically beautiful progressive rock uh, with uh, with a rather melodic approach, and um, that's all I will say about it. Now the next thing is uh, I bought this sort of in the local flea market. After I've seen it there probably three times and I never decided to buy it, but this time I was there and I kind of didn't get anything else that I liked, so uh, I thought now I get it. I asked how much the guy wants for it and he said like five euros, so I thought why not. Let's have this on the shelf. So this is Box by Mike Oldfield. So this uh, this came out by Virgin. Um, was somewhere mid late seventies. Uh, it contains the first three Oldfield albums on vinyl, and I kind of I wanted to just to read this booklet, for example. I kind of like like this kind of booklet, so uh, that's why I bought it. Also, I wanted to have something with this classic Virgin original sleeve here. And um, but as I found out, the discs are in an ec excellent condition. Uh, the vinyl is quite thin, but uh, extremely clean, completely dust-free. So this was a positive surprise. And um, actually, this box has been famous for one thing because the um, um, uh, the uh, the audio grooves are made for quadro. You can also listen to it in a normal stereo. I mean, um, I can't listen to the Quadro version of it because I don't have any kind of... Uh, how did you call it back in the Quadro decoder, I think. Um, so you would have to need that uh, connected uh, into your system, uh, which I don't have. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful sound, and why not? I'm not that much of a Mike Oldfield fan, but um, actually I'm glad to have this. I mean, the the box cover, the photograph is quite horrible. I've never figured out why there are these, why there's this mustard bottle uh, just uh, sitting there. Quite strange. I know where this motif of this box comes from. I can show you if you like. But to do so, you would have to come with me. Wait a second. So let's go through the room and. Wait, wait for it. Here we are. And make some light. This is the poster where this idea comes from. This is a graphic by the famous uh, Basher. And uh, yeah, here this version is a little bit more complicated in a sense. 
but uh, that's where this crazy photograph kind of comes from I guess I mean it's quite suspicious <laughs> so um, what else yeah that was my goldfield uh, the third power by material I really like material great band great sound um, this was their first album uh, in, at the beginning of the 90s it's all produced by Bill Lasfeld yet he doesn't play bass on it which kind of surprised me but later I heard that this was actually supposed to be a Sly and Robbie album so uh, all the drumming is by Sly Dunbar and, and Robbie Shakespeare does all the bass so we have this rhythm section so uh, Bill Lasfeld basically remained uh, behind uh, behind the how do you say that in English behind the controllers probably um, as it as it is oftentimes the case with material this whole uh, record is one big orgy of guest musicians you have uh, Herbie Hancock playing on it Bernie Vorell Bootsy Collins also not playing bass <laughs> um, so I like this album. This is um, this is the part of the material story where they dipped really deep into sort of a raga sound and hip hop and rap, very funky also. So a good album, and um, oh, you get, you have to love this band because they are so in your face, kind of. You know they don't they don't uh, mince words. They just tell you as it is uh, and what they don't like about the politics and uh, the times we live in. Yeah. Well, this album is truly beautiful. This is uh, Black Ship by Sadistic Mika Band. Um, this was, I think, 1973 or 74? 73, yeah. This came out on Donut Record, as you can see here. This is probably a label you don't see every day. <laughs> now, uh, Sadistic Mika Band was a Japanese um, project that existed somewhat between 1971 and uh, sort of the mid 70s, late, late 70s maybe. Now the sound is a very nice mixture of uh, fusion slash funk slash psychedelic music. Um, here you have uh, the young uh, Yukihiro Takahashi on drums. So that's the band he was playing before. He uh, started with the Yellow Magic Orchestra. Um, nice leaf here. Completely out of any context to the album. Yeah, so this is great sound. I mean, if you if you like sort of Japanese seventies music, you certainly know this band, and uh, I can recommend this to everyone. Sadistic Mika Band, Black Ship. So what next? There was something else. Oh yes, and of course uh, this was a very classic listen. Um, two albums that I very much love from the 80s and that's Upstairs at Eric's by Yazoo and of course the consecutive album You and Me Both by Yazoo well I can tell only good things about this album I think these two albums are really two masterpieces um, it's, a, it's a fascinating atmospheric uh, combination of this uh, very uh, almost romantic approach to electronic music and this beautiful this beautiful voice of Alison Moyer so um, I mean this is extremely well known to albums so I will not blather about them more than longer than necessary but um, 
really great stuff. I couldn't tell you which one I like more. I think they they are both at the same level. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. Um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't even know where to start just to load it, uh, this music. Really great stuff. So uh, upstairs at Eric's, you and me both by Yazoo. And that's it for today. So um, have a nice day and hope uh, to see you next time.